Hello everybody and welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a review on this here Chinese bench power supply. Um, I purchased this particular power supply on Better Buy. It's like South Africa's equivalent to eBay. Uh, I got it at a really good price so yeah let's take a look at it and see what, if it's any good. Uh, now, first of all, I gotta figure out where the knife is on this tool. <sighs> now, I waited a really long time for this thing. So, if you're in South Africa, I would not advise buying stuff from China and having it shipped via the post office because it takes forever to get to. I have bought stuff before from China and had it shipped with Korea and no problems. And you always have to take customs into account. Okay, let's take a look in here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, so, first thing power cord. With one of these round plugs on it. Then just a normal like computer power supply connector on the other side. The packaging doesn't look terrible in here. Let's go. Yeah, that's just good cardboard blocks. That's this here. No, no, this is just like a, a Chinese um, user manual. Type of light thing you see, it's all telling you what what does on it and everything, but it's all in Chinese. Doesn't see not that doesn't have an English side to it, so yeah, that's all just Chinese. Okay, so like I said, the packaging doesn't look terrible at all. It's actually pretty good. Let's see it out. Seems like this is a date that's on here at the bottom. I'm not sure what this is. Anybody can tell me what it is. Tell me down below. Okay, on the left side. So here is the actual unit. Yes, this is a 30 volts at 10 amps power supply. You can do anything you know, but it's a bench power supply. Oh yeah, just one thing I realized just now. I didn't get any kind of wires or something plug into the front of this. I was expecting to get at least like, you know, like little alligator clips of connectors on something with this. None of, nothing of that kind was included. Mainly in Chinese. It doesn't have like a brand name on it or anything. Oh yeah. And I also don't have a plug for this, so I'm just gonna get a different power cord and we can test and uh, check it all out. And we'll do some measurements on it and, and I'll get some wires for this as well. Okay, so now I've gotten myself a power cord plugged into the outlet. And I've also gotten an old headlight lobe from a car. This is a normal H4 headlight lobe, but the uh, dim is blown on it, so it's only got a bright, so it's useless for a car, but for our testing purposes, this will be perfect. I've also gotten two pieces of old wire of the broken power supply, just so we can connect. Okay, let's plug this baby in and see what happens. 
you're good to go okay I'm gonna start this off at zero we can just get those wires connected to it I will be making my own little wires for using when I use this pouch but because this isn't very practical to say the least temporary just for testing it's really not for a permanent connection or anything so I don't care about it being a weak connection okay so let's get it started and see what happens Okay, so first things first, I'm going to give it some power. I'm just going to turn the current open completely for now. Just for our first test, and then I'm going to start giving it some voltage. Let's see what happens. Now what should happen is it should start lighting up slowly and get brighter as I turn it on. Now this is too little power still for this 12 volt load thing. It's not loading up, so let's see. Wait, it should be starting. Oh, but now it should be loading up. I don't think I have a wired up. What is the problem here now? There we go. Okay, this dope is completely busted. Woo. Let's turn down this first. That's why it's doing this. It's actually broken inside. As I was tapping it, it made sparks inside it. I might have to go and get a different dope. might not be able to test it properly with this one without it losing connection again let's see what happens okay. let's see what happens now Oh, 
one gold, two gold, Okay, now I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get something else. Okay, so now I've got a different one of those H4 gloves. Let's check if this one is working. It seems to be fine. Let's see, this one also seems to be fine and it was working, still was. Just gonna put it aside. Let's get this one wired up. Worn out now on this. Let me get them through the hole. Okay. Okay, that's that then. Let's see what happens when you give it some power. Okay. Okay, this one is pulling power. You can now see it's pulling some amps on the amp meter. So that means it is working. I was stupid. I should have known when it wasn't pulling amps, it isn't working. Now oh, it's pulling 1.6 amps, or 1.4, 1.5 amps, 1 volt. Wolves. Yeah, there we can now see it's, it's starting to shine around 2 volts. We can now see it's glowing. Actually, it starts to glow at a lower voltage here. Okay, let's go up. Go up more. About three volts now. Four volts. Five volts. Six volts. Seven. It's getting really bright now. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve volts. Well, that's its operating voltage. It should operate from twelve to around like thirteen ish, around there, thirteen, fourteen volts. 13 volts. Oh, and the power supply fan just kicked in. I do like that. It kicks in when it's necessary. Go up. That's 14. It is low, it's as sharp as the sun right now. Let's go up a little higher. Yeah, it's really bright right now. We'll go up to 16. That's 16 at 5.9 amps. Not even nearly full capability of this power flow, only half of what it's supposed to be able to do. A little more. But you get the idea. We'll start to smoke now. Okay. Now we can turn it back down again as well.
Okay. And now I am kind of blind. So yeah. That's the thing. Oh, what else? Oh yeah, I forgot a very, very important part of the unboxing here. I gotta remove this plastic layer on the front of the... Screen, now that looks much better. Okay. The other thing I wanna do is I wanna check how accurate this is. Okay, so now I've got my multimeter here and I'm going to be setting it to DC voltage. There. Let's check the voltage that thing is putting out. I'm hoping it's pretty accurate because I want to be using this at my shop when doing repairs, so yeah, okay. So we're starting off with oh, yeah, basically zero volts. That's good. Up. Ooh. My character color shows 0.1. Ooh, that's pretty accurate. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Okay, I'm going to take it up to 1 volts. 1 volt. That's accurate. Actually, very accurate. I know this multimeter is accurate. It's pretty accurate. No multimeter is perfect. Okay, let's take it up to like, say, for instance, 12 volts. See if it stays accurate. And we go higher. Yep, 12 volts. That's accurate enough, I mean. I really want to like it still. Okay. Now what I also want to see is what does it show if I turn it up all the way? Oh, okay. Well, look at that. It goes a little bit beyond. 30 volts, it goes to like 30.1.7 and the multimeter is saying the same thing so yeah that's quite interesting you might be able to put out a little bit more even but it might just be because it doesn't have any draw on it right now maybe when it has a draw on it it will only be able to put out like this Yeah, otherwise this seems quite alright. So that was my unboxing and review of this Chinese power supply. Uh, in my opinion this is a pretty darn good quality little bench power supply. For the price, I really don't have any complaints. It's got a sturdy steel cover on it. Everything looks pretty darn well made on it. Yeah, really don't have any complaints about it, so yeah. If you like this video, please like it. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe.